Hi, I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and welcome to my channel. I'm the crafter from Down Under and today I'm really excited to bring to you three fabulous Christmas DIYs guaranteed to get you into the mood for our Christmas season. So the first DIY I want to share with you is, is this wonderful DIY Christmas wood pick. Now these, I've always been wanting to buy some of these um, uh, what do you, they're like they're picks that you put into the wreaths and Christmas trees and they've got these beautiful baubles attached to them but they're really really hard to find here in Australia and I see so many crafters on YouTube using them to create that wispy extension to all of the DIY Christmas decor so I thought I'd try and give it a go myself so you're going to need some wooden beads some hot glue and you're going to need the inside of some floral stems now when you're normally as a crafter you use Use artificial flowers you tend to cut off the stems as you hot glue those flowers to your different decorations I tend to keep the green stems that come attached to the artificial flowers because they come in handy for all sorts of different uses like this wooden pick DIY so you're going to take your wooden beads and you're going to take out the inside of the artificial stem of your flower I just use the insert. It's like a really thick floral wire. I don't know what gauge it is, but it's a really thick floral wire. Thick enough to stab into a um, floral foam, but also uh, pliable enough for you to bend and shape it into any shape that you like. So what you just saw me do was insert each of the wooden uh, balls into the uh, the stem and then you're going to hot glue it into place then you're going to select your paint of your choice I decided to paint these wooden picks a beautiful wintry green I thought that would look really nice and complement my Christmas decor theme this year which is red and green and then here is a little hack for you I used glitter nail polish to give each of the wooden balls that extra sparkle and shine so you can use Mod Podge and then use glitter, but I think using glitter nail polish does exactly the same trick. It's less messy and yet it still gives you that beautiful shine to each of those picks. So I used uh, some of this red nail polish glitter and then I switched it around and used some of this silver nail polish glitter and it turned out absolutely fabulous. Fabulous! I now have four wonderful picks that I can use in any Christmas decoration and give it just that extra pizzazz that I want uh, to really bring the, that seasonal decor to life. For my second DIY, I want to share with you how I made this absolutely stunning, whimsical Christmas centerpiece. I thoroughly enjoyed making this centerpiece and I am so looking forward to placing it on my mantle or my dining table. I think it's going to bring a lot of joy to the table. To get started, you're going to need a cookie tin, just a metal tin of your choosing a range of different ribbons of different sizes, some Christmas picks, some Christmas ornaments and some floral foam. I only needed the base of the cookie tin so I saved the lid of the cookie tin for another DIY late, later down the track. I then used this very thin red Merry Christmas ribbon. I thought it would really bring this uh, tin more in line with the look of a vase and give it a little bit more of that seasonal pizzazz and seasonal flair to make it just the right type of whimsical centerpiece that I was looking for. I then repurposed some floral foam from a previous project and I used my hot glue to secure the floral foam into the center of the cookie tin. Uh, using the leftover pieces of the floral foam, I just inserted them into any gap that I could see, just so that the entire centerpiece would be nice and secure. 
And then it starts to get really exciting. I had this mini tabletop uh, Christmas tree uh, that I pulled apart to use as individual picks in this centerpiece. Sometimes I find that buying an entire uh, uh, Christmas, a cent uh, Christmas tabletop tree is actually more cost efficient than buying single picks. And that's exactly what happened here. That Christmas uh, tree for your table was only about $5, but I got a good 10, 15 branches out of it, which individually as a pick, they're about $2 here in Australia each. So it was really good value for money. So you're going to find whatever greenery or whatever picks that you've got on hand and you're going to insert them around the edge of the cookie tin, just inserting it into the floral foam and to start to fill out the, and make a base for your centerpiece. Then I used the wooden picks that are DIY'd as the first DIY in this series and I inserted that into the floral foam and you can see here that because of the way we made these wooden picks uh, you can actually arrange them in any shape that you like because the stem is quite flexible and I think it gave it exactly the look I was searching for, whimsical, interesting and of course with that lovely uh, pizzazz and shine. Now this sign that I'm using here, um, I actually used my Cricut and uh, selected one of the templates that they had inside the Cricut just to um, give this centerpiece a, uh, a, a focus. So uh, I, using some balsa wood, I painted this sign red and then I used my Cricut to create a, some words that I added onto the front of the sign. And then I just used some red and white checkered fabric, fabric to uh, hot glue onto the back of the sign and give it a nice finish, a nice professional finish at the back. And then I inserted this sign as my center focus point for the centerpiece into the center of this um, floral foam. Once I inserted my sign into the centerpiece, I then used these beautiful red berry picks. They came in a range of different colors, deeper reds, lighter reds, smaller sized berries, larger sized berries. And then I just started to fill out the centerpiece with a whole range of these beautiful red berry picks. And it really started to make the centerpiece nice and full and colorful. Of course, the secret to every beautiful pick is the fluffing. So like your bows, where you need to fluff out your bows so they're nice and full and round, you also need to fluff out your picks. They often come uh, arrive at the stores flat packed and so it's really important to fluff out your picks so that you can uh, really make them full and make sure that all of the leaves are not creased and you maximise the use of every pick. And to give this a centerpiece um, some extra dimension, I had some beautiful red glittery branches. They were also picks that I broke apart and I just uh, clipped off each of these glittery stems from this beautiful red pick, this shiny red pick, and I added, I added it to the centerpiece. Again, trying to create that wispy, whimsical, 
kind of um, floaty feel to the centerpiece. Now, this is what I think added the extra whimsical um, flavour to the centerpiece. I painted some of these uh, shish kebab sticks red and then I used some of these um, Christmas decorations. They're kind of like, I think they're supposed to mimic cake decorations, but they were like a nutcracker and an elf and a Santa. And I thought, why not use them as part of this arrangement and give it that extra kind of um, fun feel to the centerpiece. So I just hot glued the, um, and you can see the gingerbread there. Um, I just hot glued the shish kebab stick to the back of the Christmas ornament and also to the back of these little um, figurines. and. Pop, popped them into the centerpiece and I thought it looked absolutely stunning. I loved the entire feel of this centerpiece. I thought the um, shininess and the gloss of the Christmas baubles also gave it, gave the centerpiece some extra uh, dimension. And of course, how can you go wrong with a little gingerbread man and an elf and a nutcracker all mixed in together to give it that lovely, fun and festive uh, seasonal feel to this decoration. Once the Christmas baubles were in and the little figurines were also in, I just gave the centerpiece an extra bit of fluffing. I also thought when I was fluffing the centerpiece that it needed something a little bit extra and I thought it might need uh, like a poinsettia or a flower. I didn't have one so I just used some leftover of this deco mesh, this beautiful red and green deco mesh and by folding it um, if, if you cut an exact square, I just used a 10 by 10 square and then I folded it towards the middle, each side, each corner towards the middle. It created this really interesting um, kind of floral petal shape. I don't know how else to describe it. it you can see it better than me describing it. By, by folding the corners into the centre and then pinching it at the uh, centre of your deco mesh, you could then start to create a really interesting floral sort of um, design and then using a chenille stick once you have pinched them all in the middle create three or four of these deco mesh petals you can bring it together and create a cute little um, kind of like a floral design and when you put the chenille stick over the center of this little bow design just fold your deco mesh in half so that the points of each of those petals, um, they, the, the corners point upwards and then sort of create more of a floral look. And then I just inserted that, uh, this new design into the centerpiece and I thought that was exactly what it needed. That extra little bit of sparkle and shine, it gave it an, another dimension altogether and really brought the entire centerpiece um, to exactly the type that I was looking for in terms of flair and colour and um, texture. I, I really, really liked how that turned out. And there you have it, a fun and festive, whimsical Christmas centerpiece. I had so much fun making this. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you're liking this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I make all sorts of home decor and I love doing tablescapes and I've got plenty of videos there with a range of different decor and tablescapes for you to be inspired with. If you're new to my channel, a big warm welcome to you. And if you're returning to this channel, thank you so much to all my existing subscribers. I am so excited to watch my channel grow. Your comments really inspire me and I really hope that I inspire you too in return.
my last DIY today, I'd love to share with you how I made this Santa sled wooden round door sign. You're going to need a wooden round, some brown paint to cover the wooden round. I'd already pre-painted my wooden round with some brown paint, some ribbon, and you're going to need some lettering. Now I used my Cricut to create a lettering design, but you can easily use some rub-ons, some stick-on lettering, or you can even hand paint your sign together. You're also going to need some hot glue. Now I already prepared my wooden round by painting it off camera. So what you're seeing me do here now is just pull apart my vinyl lettering that I used. Um, it was a template that I downloaded on my Cricut and then just using the transfer tape, I just gently peeled away the vinyl lettering and just arranged it onto the sign. Careful to leave a little bit of space at the top of this wooden sign because for this design, I wanted to put my beautiful fluffy bow at the top of the wooden sign. I thought this sign needed, needed a little bit more of a rustic look, so just using some lighter cream coloured acrylic paint that I had on hand, I just used a uh, chippy brush and just gently distressed it using this uh, cream colour. And I thought it turned out really well, really farmhouse look, a nice rustic design. So to create a bow, I think this is called a fuzzy bow. I'm not sure, leave me a comment in the description box below. I think it's a fuzzy bow. I basically had a whole bunch of uh, strips of ribbon. I cut them in about eight inch lengths and then dovetailed them and then simply stacked them together to create a nice tidy smaller bow. I did try it with some large, um, billowing sort of rounded bows but it, it didn't look as good I thought it needed that sort of scrappy scrappy bow yeah maybe it's a scrappy bow um, anyway I thought it needed a slightly smaller bow and what I like about this bow is that it's interesting and the layering of the different colors and um, designs on the ribbons really gave it that extra interest so to finish off the uh, wooden round sign I just used some greenery that I picked apart from some picks that I had on hand in my stash and I just hot glued them underneath the ribbon just to give it that extra Christmassy look and I thought the green broke up the also broke up the heaviness of the the dark brown of the wooden sign Some red berries just to give the sign a little bit more dimension and I thought that really made the greenery pop I just love the red against that beautiful greenery and I thought it turned out really really pretty I still thought that the center of the bow however needed a little bit of something extra so I had a, a felt poinsettia that fell apart so I just took all of the um, petals from the poinsettia and then I just hot glued them together to create a brand new flower and inserted that at the center of the, of the bow. And then of course, as crafters, we always uh, craft on the go. I decided I didn't like the poinsettia, poinsettia in the center of my bow, so I took it off and I just inserted some more of those red berries. I pulled them apart and I just hot glued them to the center of the bow and I was much happier with that design. And to hang the sign, I just used a chenille stick cut it down and just super, uh, hot glued it to the back of the sign at the center and then it was ready for display. 
I really love how this has turned out and I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas episode. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.